by careful management of 70 acres of surplus naval land and existing housing stock, the DRCP's housing projections are impressive. What we're trying to do here is to increase the number of houses rather than flats that predominate at the moment and also to create a sort of sustainable mixed community in the area. As part of this we've got over 400 council flats to demolish in the programme and we've brought together two housing associations, um, Devon and Cornwall Housing Association and Sovereign Housing Association with us in the partnership. Devon and Cornwall Housing have been um, one of the main housing associations involved in Devonport for, for many years now. The biggest project we undertook, which has completed um, last year, is um, the Gun Wharf development. This was our first big regeneration project in Devonport and involved the demolition of 150 council flats with very much with the involvement of the community and putting back a, a, a mixed community of 99 new homes including a mixture of shared ownership, properties, rented and outright sale. It was very much led by the community. The community wanted to lead the change in their area and I'm really pleased to say that a lot of the residents that lived here originally moved back. This scheme really has set the, um, the benchmark for quality for the regeneration in Devonport and we're now rolling that on to our Kerr Street um, development where we hope to continue the work started here. You can see that Devonport, in, in due course, with all the changes thanks to the NDC occurring, is likely to be a far superior place. We really are very confident of the changes that will happen and the quality of what we'll end up with here. It's heading back to its heyday in many ways. Developing new and affordable housing is merely one step towards creating a 21st century Devonport. Cleaner streets and public space improvements are among other initiatives that will have a long and lasting benefit for future generations. We've had various funding given to us by DRC uh, Partnership, which has allowed them to, uh, uh, them and us, to uh, uh, improve the War Memorial, improve uh, a long-standing monument in the park, which is the Doris Gun, and to make some uh, general improvements uh, uh, around the park itself. I think the key element is to provide people with an area that they want to live in, that they're happy to live in, that they're proud to live in, and you know they, they want their children to have as a future. Yeah.